Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to RC Phone Fighters, I'm Paul and uh, basically this video is going to be on my new Phone Fighter 23 version 2. Um, I built this plane about two years ago or maybe even close to three um, but it was sitting on the uh, drawing board for quite a while and I'm finally getting the time to get back into it and I actually finally finished the plans for this plane right here and these are available on our website now for sale um, so if you'd like to build one of these planes you can check out our website and pick up the plans. Uh, but basically this is going to be a build video for this Phone Fighter 23 version 2. So let's get started. Alright guys, here's kind of a quick view of some of the stuff that comes in the plans. Um, it has your basic information on this sheet. It shows your CG and stuff like that. And um, your elevator aileron throws and some other information like that. That's all included in the plans. And um, basically the plans, you can uh, either use the tile format. They're both included in the same plan. Or in the very back of the plan set, there's actually full-size sheets that you can take to a copier like Kinko's or whatever and have them print out on 30 by 42 inch size sheets of paper. That way you don't have to glue it together. Um, if you are going to be doing the tiled sheets, you know, here's an example of a tiled sheet. Uh, basically what you're going to want to do is what I usually do is I cut along this bottom blue line and the right side and then just piece them all together and tape them together. So basically, um, when they're done, you'll come out with a layout that looks like that. So let's get started. I've got a set of the big sheets. I didn't use the tiled sheets, so that'll make it a little easier. I'll get it set up on the foam board and we'll start cutting. All right, everyone, I got all the plans taped down to the foam board. Basically, I'm using Dollar Tree foam board. It measures 20 inches by 30 inches. Um, this plane is fairly large. That's why it uses so much foam board. Um, but anyway, before you start cutting it out, you should go through and you know review all the uh, bevel notes and cutting notes that are throughout the plan, so you kind of uh, get familiarized with it and know where you got to do the bevel cuts and regular straight through cuts all the way through. Okay, guys, I'm starting to get a lot of the parts cut out, and we'll start going over the individual pieces on what you need to do. Uh, first off, let's tackle um, the KF airfoil part of the main wing. Um, I've got the basic uh, piece cut out. So first, what you're going to want to do is cut out the slots on one side of the foam. Um, just cut through the top piece of paper on the foam board and then, you know, dig out um, the foam to make little slots. And then after you get those four cut in, what you're going to want to do is flip over the main wing piece and put the template on the other side. And that's when we're going to want to start cutting this um, double bevel line where the KF airfoil is going to fold. Okay, so you're basically you're going to want these notches so they're on the outside of the wing after it's folded. So um, let me get these cut out and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right guys, I got the double 45 degree bevel cut. Um, and what you want to do is you want to fold it over so it puts kind of a nice fold line in this main wing. Um, with the double 45, it doesn't completely fold over um, super easy. So what I usually do is I'll take a pen now and I'll just kind of mush down the edges of this 45 degree bevel on both sides and that'll um, give enough play in the fold area so that it should fold down all the way so it's flat onto this back surface. All right, everyone, here's um, basically a quick view uh, with both sides of the airfoil folded over. Uh, it's pretty much like folding a paper airplane. If you uh, cut it nice and even and pretty accurately, it should fold where the ends meet up nice and close. So you should have a straight line across the back because um, the other piece of the main wing will be gluing on um, right where this overlap is. So let me glue down these uh, two sides here. Um, I'm going to be using some five minute epoxy to spread it on real thin underneath this fold piece. And then you're probably going to want to put something nice and flat with a little bit of weight on top of it um, to hold it down while the glue dries. All right guys, I put some epoxy down between the uh, top and bottom of these uh, fold cuts. And basically I've got weight with the piece of wood on there to hold it down. So let's let it dry and then we'll uh, move on to the next part. All right guys, next up I'm working on the rear portion of the main wing. Um, that also has the vertical stabilizers that fold up. Um, basically I cut it all out, cut out the prop slot. And as you can notice there's a bunch of little slots on here. Uh, if you print them out in color, uh, they'll be red and blue. Um, the red ones should be cut on the top side and the blue ones should be cut on the bottom side. Um, also on the final plans, I did write top and bottom in each of the squares, so it should be easier uh, for you guys to tell which side you need to cut out. All right, everyone, I've got all the slots cut into the rearward section of the main wing. Um, there's slots cut on the top side, 
and also on the bottom side of this uh, main wing portion, the rearward portion of the main wing. Um, now that that's completed, um, I'm not going to angle up the tail fins yet. Um, we'll leave them like they are, it'll be easier to work around. Um, we'll do that a little bit later. Uh, but now the wing is ready to glue together with the front portion. And basically, you just glue it so this overlaps. You line up both wings. So, And on the overlap section, you're just going to probably use some more 5 minute epoxy just to glue it together. All right, I applied the five minute epoxy under the overlap area, and now I got weights again on it to press it down, make sure it's nice and secure, and we'll let the epoxy dry. And after that's done, we'll be ready to move on to the next part. All right, everyone, the epoxy is now dry, and the front and back piece of the main wing are now glued together and nice and secure. Um, I flipped it back over. This is the uh, bottom side, basically facing up now, and I'm coming back to uh, cut out the bevels for the control surfaces. So you're going to do that on each of the ailerons and also on the back of the elevator. All right, also one other note while you got the main wing flipped over. Um, if you can see, there's a little bit of an edge here that doesn't really totally match up since the front leading edge of the main wing is nice and rounded. And then where this overlap piece meets up, it's kind of squared off. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my 45 degree bevel cutter. And I'm just going to cut right off that edge there and then make it you know somewhat meet up to that nice rounded edge so you don't have a kind of a squared off edge on the uh, main wing all right everyone next up we're going to go over the lower fuselage uh, piece uh, basically i already got it all cut out and all the slots and bevels already cut into it um, this one requires a double 45 degree bevel cut up the main folds here this is where the sides are going to fold up that allow it to easily fold there's one on both sides and all the way up to the nose. Then around all the edges, there's a single 45 degree bevel you need to cut, basically all the way around there and all on the insides of the nose cuts. And on the plans, these fold lines are shown as just a red dashed line. Um, usually I cut out a very tiny slot of the foam board on the inside layer here, so it'll fold easy. That'll make it, you know, kind of create some nice crease lines so when you're getting ready to fold they'll fold nice and easy um, after you get all those bevel cuts and everything cut out on the lower fuselage piece you get ready to install the uh, bulkhead pieces on the plans they're all numbered um, the number three bulkhead basically is going to glue in like this um, number six will basically go in right in front of that other bulkhead piece and it'll butt up against it and then five goes roughly about here you want it so when it's installed it's gonna come and basically it's gonna butt up against the front of the main wing on the inside of the fuselage so you might want to kind of just do a rough test fit of where the main wing is gonna line up when you install it on the bottom and then uh, glue that one in bulkhead number four that's gonna go right in front of this line on the nose piece oh one other real quick note about the lower fuselage piece this cut here is actually cut all the way through. Um, basically, that's kind of in the middle of the lower fuselage piece. That'll allow it to flex kind of freely when you're doing these folds, because as you can see, there's a bit of a bend there. And basically, when you glue it together, you'll just put another bead of hot glue down that after you get it in the right uh, angle, and that'll help hold it together. All right, everyone, here's a quick view of the lower fuselage. Everything's now glued in place. So as you can see, it's taking a nice shape. So basically what you want to do next is just kind of do a test fit. Make sure it fits in all the slots on the bottom side of the main wing um, before you start to glue it in. So basically I'm just going to check, make sure everything fits and lined up good. Looks like everything you know, fits fairly well. Um, on these edges here, you want to make sure you have a 45 degree bevel cut on there so it'll fit nice and snug up against the main wing all right everyone the lower fuselage is now glued to the uh, main wing and after you get it on there don't forget to uh, run a bead of hot glue basically where the front of the main wing butts up against the bulkhead here that'll make it a little bit stronger all right guys the next step we're going to glue bulkhead one and two in place basically these get vertically put into these slots like this you have one on each side and these are going to form the area where the uh, wooden motor mount is going to slip into the plane. All right, everyone, I got bulkheads one and two glued in place. 
Uh, basically after that you're going to want to move on to making the belly pan piece. Uh, basically this uh, piece just cut it out like it shows on the templates. Then you cut the double 45 degree bevel lines on the two outside edges so it folds up nice and easy. Um, cut out all the slots and towards the front of it it's got um, some little slot lines you want to cut out. Those are basically the fold lines because um, that's going to be kind of a double fold that, that looks like that once you glue it up to the fuselage. So after you get that all nicely done, um, also cut out a single 45 degree bevel along the edges here. That'll make it uh, meet up to the bottom of the main wing a lot more flushly and uh, glue up nicely. After you get everything cut like that, um, just kind of put that to the side. Then we're going to get started on making the wooden motor mount. All right, everyone, I got the four pieces of the motor mount um, cut out. I've used the 3 seconds thick uh, basswood or basswood or whatever you want to call it. Um, basically, what you want to do is cut these two main pieces out so the grain of the wood is going in opposing directions. So on this piece, the grain is going this way. On that piece, it's going up and down. And you're going to glue these two on top of each other so that'll make it stronger, kind of like a, a sheet of plywood. So that'll be the main part of the motor mount. And then the two sides will basically glue on to it. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to glue these two together first. Then after that, I'm going to um, size up the holes to the motor mount that I'm going to be using. Always uh, check the holes before you drill them to the uh, actual motor you're going to use so you have the correct hole spacing. Uh, make sure you get it as centered as possible. And after you get some holes drilled in there, um, I'm going to be using some blind nuts. Um, basically four of them. I'm going to be using 440 size and those will be pressed into the back side of this uh, main piece of the motor mount. And after we get that all together, then I'll glue on the sides. Alright everyone, I got the motor mount fully assembled. Um, I've got all the blind nuts in the back side of it. And as you can see, it's all glued together or epoxied together. But after you get it fully finished, basically it's just going to be hot glued into the back of the plane. Make sure you have See how this side has a little tab side that I guess that kind of hangs out a little bit? That's going to go towards the top of the plane. And you're just going to want to hot glue it in here so it's basically nice and even with the ends of these two bulkheads. And make sure this area here is nice and flush with the foam board. So later on when you glue on the belly pan, everything will go together nice and easily. All right, everyone, I got the completed motor mount all glued into the plane now. And what I did is I just put the belly pan on for a test fit right now, just to see how everything's lining up. And it looks like everything's good. Um, we're not going to glue it on yet, because we're going to come back and put some of the electronics in. And it'll be easier to do if we do that before we glue on the bottom of the belly pan. Alright everyone, here's a quick look at the upper fuselage piece. It's all cut out. Now I already put all the bevel cuts in. Um, this one, it's a little time consuming. You want to go through and you need to put a 45 degree bevel pretty much all along the whole perimeter and throughout the uh, inner grooves here do a, a single 45 degree bevel so that'll make it fold up nice and uh, meet up better when you uh, do the folds and again this one has a bunch of the crease lines I just cut out a real tiny slot where all the crease lines were on the plan um, once you get that all done and prepped and got all your 45 degree bevels good then you'll uh, get ready to hot glue it and uh, basically into shape so you'll have bulkhead 8 and bulkhead 7 um, that'll help form the upper fuselage. Bulkhead 8 will go to, uh, towards the rear section of the fuselage right before this line and basically it's going to be hot glued in here like this and then the sides folded up to meet the edges. Um, bulkhead 7 will go up towards the front. Um, this one you'll do after you do 8 and get it kind of formed and that one will go basically right here in back of this front line. That'll be glued into here and then again the sides will be all glued up and along all these seams and you'll glue together to form the nose. Alright everyone, I got the upper fuselage all put together. Um, as you can see, I got bulkhead 8 towards the rear of the fuselage and bulkhead 7 towards the front. That helps hold it all in shape. As you can see, it's taking a nice shape now. And basically that's just going to fit on top of the bottom portion of the plane. Later on, we'll just glue it on here. And once we get all the hot glue in there, it should fit down nice and flushly all the way along the seams. All right, everyone, I'm working on the two motor pods that are going to go on top of the plane. I've got one already cut out and all the bevel cuts cut into it. 
Um, basically, this one does require the 45 degree bevel cut all the way around the edges. And again, you're going to cut out a very thin slot out of where the fold lines are. And in the middle, you got the dual 45 degree bevel cuts, and that's going to be the fold points. And then you'll have a bulkhead for each side of the motor pods. Um, that's going to be 9 and 10. Basically, these just glue in the very back right up here, and these basically just cap off the motor pod on the back, and that'll help hold it in shape too. So once you get this glued in, you'll fold up the sides to meet it, and then start shaping the front and glue it all together. All right, everyone, I got the first motor pod all put together. Uh, pretty much, it'll fit on the plane like that. As you can see, the bulkhead just creates like the cap on the back of it, um, and that helps hold its shape. It basically just pops into the slots there. You can see the bulkheads there. Everything's glued together. Uh, basically just going to repeat the same steps and create the one for the other side and then those will both be done.